Me. That hit. Me. All right, hey guys, Trif Chris Lee here today with, and we're back with Mob Psycho episode seven. So last episode, we're going on like a sort of a Reagan downward spiral here. It looks like we're touching on something about Reagan's personality. We're thinking about himself. I'm getting a feeling he's going to be quite a bit of a dick during this arc, but we're going to get a lot of development for his character and Mob. I love how Mob's character's turning out. I think they're doing it really, really, really well, in my opinion. I just like how it's making him more independent, thinking of himself, making friends, not listening to Reagan through everything. I love how to touching up on that. I wonder how long this arc's going to last and how long it's going to take Reagan to just really kick himself in the face and just accept him and be friends with him. But I think this will be great. At the end of this arc, I think we're going to get a lot out of it for Reagan. And yeah, it's just going to be a lot of this to say. Probably me saying like Reagan stop being stupid, but I'm glad they're actually going down this because it was a flaw in his character. It's flaw in his character, but with him and Mob's relationship, it just seemed a bit flawed there. And I'm glad they're trying to go and try and fix it now through this arc. And yeah, I'm wondering where it's going to go from here and how many stupid things Rick is going to do before he realises he's done wrong and just needs to apologise. So yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoy his content. I'm doing other anime wrong with Death Parade, Jerry Joe's Neon Galleon, Evangelion, and the Winter Season anime. So please check those out if you're interested. They look so doll like. Oh yeah, this is like he's trying to like ruin his career because of the kick. That is a creepy face there. What the fuck is going on in this episode? How many people are watching this? Fuck no. What if Bob's going to see this? He's going to look like an idiot on TV. Oh, it's not going to go how it is in your head. Yes, we're gonna get to see some more dramatic shots. The kids just like, what the fuck? The kid's a good actor, to be fair. He's got the twitching down. Oh, the ego hit to Reagan. It's gone. You need to take this ego hit, mate. Oh. Wrecked. Oh, he knew that, but he fucking... Wrecked. Reagan just got destroyed. Ooh, he's getting hacked out as a fraud. No. Well, he doesn't technically. Whoa! This guy got pure savage on him. Wow, we've never seen Reagan like this. No confidence. Shit. Fuck's sake. Fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, he did that off so hard. He's gonna get. He's now a gif. He's gonna be on meme review. No, Reagan. Oh no, the media's gonna fall attack. This is literally the downfall of Reagan. We're just going to see like a broken down Reagan. Oh god, poor oh. <laughs> Reagan back. What he's going to do to get out of this one. Mate, <laughs> oh, Reagan in high school. <laughs> Mate, it's going to turn into Inuyasuki here. I mean, he's going to start sniping people on the Reddit form. Mate, Reagan's getting fucking brutalised. See, I wonder where they were going with the TV thing, but it's all led to this now, so it's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Ooh, this isn't going well. Oh, he's lost his only friends as well. Poor Reagan. I should feel sorry for him right now. And to be fair, like, he didn't deserve this much hate, even if he was being an idiot. You're going to need Mob's help, mate. Can they go by too fast? I need to read them. Let's go read. Just gonna read them, guys. Just see what he actually said. Guys, the only people have troubled, as well as their friends. Blow hold hold bath two minutes. That's the apology speech she's most likely to to do. Ooh, he's thinking about it. Mate, just ask mob for help, mate. I love how bring the Twitter in, it's like it's modern day because it would actually be like this. Yeah, Reagan's never actually done anything bad when you think about it. He's not sold, he's not took money, he's not done anything really that terrible. He's just a bit of a con artist. Oh, this guy's fucking getting at him, mate. Oh, mate, he's on PTSD. We're getting a lot more to Reagan's character this episode, though, I like it. Then he met Mob. We'll go through something like this in life. It's quite relatable. Where he gets sick of your job and you just want to move forward. And then he met Mob and it changed everything. No, oh, Mob looks so cute. <laughs> yes, he took all these. This the ha ha. Look how happy he is. Look how happy Mob is. <laughs> and we're in business. Yes, we've got a nice flashback there. Aww. Speak from the heart, Reagan, do it. Mate, he's actually calling himself out. I thought they were going to drag this on for a lot longer than they are, but they're fucking going through it rapid. The pacing for this is amazing. Which was the mob? It was like the All Might moment. Now it's all up to you. He's oh, gonna see mob on his way out. Come on. Yes, mob. It's like a, some like, big moment that happened. I could cry. <laughs> Made the song sick for this moment. Yes, Mob, say the words. Oh, oh, take my eyes could come there. Oh, oh, mate. That was actually pretty sad. Me, that hit me. But I didn't expect. Oh, I didn't expect that. Me. What the fuck? That was a random bit of emotion I didn't expect. Fuck now. Wow. Oh, phase of something. Wow, did not expect that random bit of emotion there. Fuck no. Um, I don't normally get sad like this. Very rare. I don't know why I even got that. Tears even went there. I just thought that line was really a uh, good line. Um, 
Mate, I'm just, what the fuck? Uh, uh, I don't, right, so, yeah, the really good episode, guys. Uh, yeah, don't know why I'm tearing up. I thought, I don't know, that, that was such a uh, nice line. I just didn't expect it. It was like, it's like, oh, I know who you really are. He's just like, you're a nice guy. I thought it was cute and mob. Um, I love their relationship. I think it's one definitely one of the high perks of the show. I'm glad they didn't drag this on. I thought it would be one of those mopey like, arcs where it had gone for quite a while. But that overall was... I don't know. If that was a... Um, yeah, no. I really like the two relationship. I like how they've built upon it. And I like they've gone through a thing that was a flaw in the relationship and have resolved it in like just two episodes where I thought they would actually drag it on for a bit. But no, they uh, solved it in this episode. And I thought they solved it in a really good way. And I like the last moment and... Yeah, the whole like down spiral for Regan. I think then no, it was a really touching arc there at the end. And I think like brought a lot more development to Regan's character. I don't know. I really enjoyed that, and I thought I little that bit at the end was just amazing. I mean, who's just like he's just a really good guy because Regan is generally just a nice guy. Um, <clears throat> he's one of those people where we all go through like a situation in life where like you don't know what to do with your life and you're just trying something new. And you nearly give up, then you met the kid who will move in to keep going. And then he just generally helped him out. Like you know, Regan's never actually asked for money. He's never done. He's a bit shady, a bit of a con man, but he's never actually done anything bad with a con man. What he could actually do with uh, his cunning skills, but no, he's just uh, just quiet, just normally trying to help people out and do best for people. And yeah, no, it was a really good episode. I didn't expect that last bit to get me so much. Uh, it was very random. I, I'm like, I'm not sad over it, or like, uh, no, I was just happy, like, happy tear for Reagan, because I think he needed that. Um, yeah. I'm shook with that I uh, shed a tear there. I, very unexpected. Um... That was so random, but yeah, not too much more to say about this. I thought that was a really good two part. I think it led to a nice resolution, and we've got a shit ton of development for both characters. I'm excited to see where it's going. To. I'm loving this season of Mob because it's just hitting on the people side and the human side. Like last first season was all about the action packed out, just action thing. This season's just like more about developing the characters, more about the characters, and it's still giving us the sick action scenes in between, which I really enjoy. But yeah, if you like this reaction, please join me next time. And yeah, peace. Mm -hmm.